you're on. Okay, so this is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. We are in a racetrack gas station. And this is a make your own DIY, build it yourself Sunday station. They've got a dozen different flavors here of soft serve ice cream. And then look at that bar. Those are all toppings. Never seen anything like it. Oh my goodness, and syrup. I never seen anything like it. So I'm gonna do some cookies and cream frozen yogurt. And peanut butter fudge cooking. How's that sound? Yum. It's rather amazing. Wow. Gotta take my sunglasses off so I can see all this stuff. I don't know what this is, but they look like pebbles. Cool. Like rock, rocks, like rocks candy yeah. of some sort. Peanuts. Peanuts, okay. What are these little things called? Like crazy? Non frails. No? Non frails. Non frails. Yeah. Yeah. I guess without, uh, like a non frail is like someone is, there's no comparison. Chocolate syrup. That is amazing. <laughs> it's pretty incredible. Yum. Now I'm not going to be getting a sundae. I'm getting me some cheese. So I'm sure Bill's going to really enjoy that. It's just a little too much uh, sugar for me. So, all right. <laughs> Everybody. I'm Bill and I'm Elizabeth live simple live free and we are here today in st. Petersburg at the st. Pete pier. Yes um, I'm assuming that many of you live in the st. Petersburg Tampa area and uh, You're gonna go. Oh, you're so so close. <laughs> I Was here a year ago with my son When we took our bicycle tour of Florida and I absolutely loved it and so I wanted to bring Elizabeth back and yes. show her the pier. So there are also a couple of museums here. So we're going to spend the day here. We're going to go through the museums and then go out onto the pier and eat lunch out there. Yep. You ready? Yes, it sounds wonderful. It's a fun time. Okay. Here, just a second. That's better. Okay. So there's some kind of an evasive, uh, of a, a race event going on here. Right over there. I don't know what it is because I can't see them, but it's definitely loud. Go-karts? Cars? I don't know. Funny cars? I have no idea. But we saw on the way in, it said uh, limited parking downtown because of the event. And we thought, oh no, great. But then we got onto the pier and there's easy parking here. $15 for all day. So I'm very happy with that. Yes, me too. Excited. So I went over and I asked the cop over there what this race was. I okay. figured go-karts or something because he real yeah. high-pitched. Yeah. He said it is the Firestone Grand Prix Indy Race. 
Oh, they're Indy, they're not in NASCAR. Yeah. So wow. That's pretty cool. Yes, that really is. Now, Those are very different than NASCAR. We had no idea that it was going to be here. Of course, we're not going in. We don't. No. There's probably a cost to get in, I'm sure. And there's enough to do here. Yeah. Besides that, so. But anyway, you can definitely hear them in the background. <laughs> yes, that's for sure. Pretty cool. Yep. Now our Grand Prix race is one that actually races right down through the streets of a city. Uh, the Monte Carlo Grand Prix is a famous one. Uh, I've seen them on TV, but I've never seen them in real life before. This is really cool. And here's one of the officials, this woman with the yellow flag, if it's ever needed, she's ready to go. you can hear me with the race but this tree behind me is blowing my mind it is incredible the live oaks are amazing enough and I don't know what that is but it is gorgeous Those red things up on the tree are not leaves. They're flowers. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Woo. Well, the artist here is Giovanni Lorenzo Bernini. Bernini, yes. And this is what, from 1675? Wow, it's a beautiful painting. They have a special exhibition of his stuff right now. I don't know, this portrait of a nun, I love it. Um, it's just got, she's got such kind eyes and such a soft face. It's really beautiful. All the paintings in this room were painted in the 1600s. Of course, I don't know who any of these people are, but I think that the, uh, the detail and the absolute photorealism is amazing. Six hundred years ago. It's actually an amazingly good shape. Um, this is actually Claude Monet. That's major. I mean, he's like one of the major, 
major impressionists. And the thing that's so incredible about a painting like this is that if you're really close, everything kind of just smudges together. But the farther away you get, the more detail you're gonna see in that picture. And it's just about the fog in London. Oh my goodness, that's a real Monet. <laughs> that is really cool. This is an original Norman Rockwell. Oh my goodness, I mean, his original work is so amazing and so valuable. Isn't his stuff just full of life? And look at the, the gentle way he's reassuring his friend as they're sitting and talking over a cup of, probably a cup of tea. Could be coffee. I love it. <laughs> That's a real rock wall. That is so cool. What would you think of the museum? Oh, it, I, I tell you what, it had a lot of wonderful art in it, but I'm always impressed when you have a museum that's not like a major national museum that has artists in it like Monet and um, just some of the different ones that I was excited to get to see, but the art here has been beautiful. And a piece of art from 5000 BC. Oh, oh that blew my mind. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was like, yeah, that little that little figure that was 4,600 years old now yeah. um, is uh, the oldest thing they had in the whole place. That's extraordinary. Yeah. So we are actually, we've spent quite a bit of time here. We did not show you most of it. Oh, goodness, no, we um, didn't want to overwhelm yeah, everybody. Yeah, we did not want to overwhelm you with pictures. Um, <laughs> but uh, if you're ever in the area, it's definitely worth coming to see. It's, uh, it's 20 bucks to get in. We got in for 15 because we're, we're, we're old. <laughs> <laughs> or military. Yeah. So... Yeah. You ready to take a walk along the pier now? Yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to that. And then we're going to, I guess, eat in the restaurant at the end of the pier. Yeah. Cool. Walking out onto the pier now. So we just came through a section of craft booths and things like that. So what did you get? <laughs> well, for one thing, I got my magnet for the fridge. I love the picture. It's so peaceful. It says St. Pete on it. But then I just fell in love with this. It was very reasonable. It's on a ceramic <laughs> tile. Isn't that beautiful? I should show you in the sunshine. It just sparkles. I love it. <laughs> now we're beginning to go out onto the pier itself. Wow. And the pier goes that way for quite a ways. It's beautiful. I guess that sculpture. <laughs> Interesting net. <laughs> Man, if I was a kid, I would love that. And if you fall anywhere, you land on this really cushy stuff. This is really great.
I love the way they have a green park with palm trees planted right on the pier. That's so cool. Now this building right behind me is all, all the way out at the end of the pier and that is the restaurant where Elizabeth and I are going to eat lunch. So there's the restaurant here up, up there on the second floor. All the way out at the far end of the pier. With palm trees. There's Tampa, all the way over there. Would you look at this burger? <laughs> oh my goodness. And they have gluten-free buns. So yes, this is really a treat. And I have, just a second here. I have, these are tostones. And I love to make tostones. They are um, plantain that you, fr you, you cook it till it's soft, then you squish it, then you fry it till it's crispy and the inside is soft. And then they have a mango dipping sauce. Yum. It's a free tram that takes you out to the end of the pier. We didn't even know about it and we walked out. We'll probably take that back. This is the very end of the pier and there are a few people out here fishing. Well dear, good lunch. Yeah, well, I didn't begin to finish that hamburger, but it was very good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was huge, but yeah, it was delicious. And just what a beautiful place to eat. Yeah. My goodness. Yeah. What was this that you said a little earlier about everywhere you look? Oh, no. It, every direction you look, it's just absolutely stunning. Yeah. I mean, deep blue water, lots of it, and, and beautiful sailboats. And I mean, it is stunning here. Oh, my goodness, honey, thank you. Yeah. I mean, this it couldn't have been more perfect today where everything worked out. Well, I was here with Barry last year, and I wanted so much to bring you back. And I didn't ever think it was going to happen, so I'm very happy that it that it has. Yes, yes. So. All right, you ready to start heading back? Yeah, yeah. We're going to be going to be heading back, yeah. and uh, what a beautiful day. Well, dear one, did you have a good day? Yes, yes, I did. And I'm really tired. Yeah. <laughs> but oh yeah, it's just couldn't be more beautiful, perfect weather and the, just the warm, breezy air. Yeah, oh, it's been a great day. The weather down here has been beautiful. Um, today, the video about our van breakdown just released. Uh, and we've been here, you know, what, a week now. And uh, <clears throat> everybody on that video was saying, everybody, all the Floridians on that video were saying, the weather's gorgeous down here. Yeah, we're here. We know. <laughs> <laughs> it is incredibly beautiful. 
Not a cloud in the sky all week long, yeah. about 80 degrees, just perfect. Yeah, it's been beautiful. So, and it's, it's very typical for YouTubers videos to be a little behind. Right. <laughs> it's normal. Yeah, so we just had a great time today. Beautiful yeah. place. If you live in uh, St. Pete or Tampa, I envy you. It's a beautiful place. Yeah, it really is. Yep. It's, been, it's been wonderful. So, so thanks for following along with us, coming along with us. Yep, live simple. Live free. <laughs> you be blessed. Yep. All right, we love you guys. We'll bring you along whatever else keeps and happening. we'll see you in our next adventure. Yes, we will. Right. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.